New medical equipment in the Valley is offering patients who are suffering from stroke or spinal cord injuries a faster recovery or even the chance at walking again. It's really great. CBS 4's Joe Flores explains how one local man has started walking again after a car accident. When I first got here, I wasn't, I wasn't able, you know, to move my legs. I, I mean, that was part of the, you know, getting back to normal. I mean, I was, <laughs> I had trouble getting, getting out of bed, just sitting down to, to move over to sit down to a different surface. Donnie was in a car accident while coming back from Corpus Christi in March, which left him unable to walk. While recovering in the hospital, Donnie was introduced to the XOGT. <laughs> Two exoskeleton GT robotic assisted rehabilitation devices available at Doctors Hospital Renaissance. This has been good. Uh, you know, at times you, you know, I would, you know, struggle with, with the mental aspect of you know how, how am I going to get back to normal, or being able to do normal things that I would normally do. With the the introduction of this into my therapy, I was able to to stand, uh, able to walk. You know, things that my, my mind, you know, you know, would tell me or I would feel, you know, a doubt there about that. But, you know, using this, it, it helped me with a lot of those fears and a lot of those doubts. This has made our patients get faster recovery, get out of the hospital sooner, and then the length of stay in the hospital is also decreased. Director of Therapy and Rehabilitation, Dr. Michael Auer, says this new tool keeps the patient in postural alignment and allows the brain to lay down new pathways to ultimately learn how to move again. EXO can do all the work for the patient just so they can get the feel of walking and lay down those pathways. We can uh, program EXO to be able to allow the patient to move as much as they can and then EXO will help them the rest of the way. We can uh, program EXO to uh, provide resistance so the patient has to work harder while they're taking the step. Over 40 people have used DHR's two new exoskeletons so far. We have been able to get patients that have come in that have not been able to move their legs and are now walking. In Edinburgh, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. All the information collected while patients are using the device is stored into a HIPAA com compliant cloud where DHR physicians can track the patient's parametric data like how many steps they can take or how long that step is.